to the very funny and confident Vasavi Kumar. Perpetual therapy. So I can talk to you all, right? Yeah. Uh, here we go. Uh, I'm a first generation Indian immigrant, dot, not feather. <laughs> My name is Vasavi. Most people mess it up. They either call me Vasavi or worse. When I was 17 years old, I had this Jamaican boss, and she used to yell over the loudspeaker at CBS <laughs> Vajisil! Vajisil! <laughs> I am the brown sheep of my family. I am bipolar, I'm divorced, and I am two and a half years clean from cocaine. Thank you very much, love cocaine. And I love me too. Basically what that means is, I'm crazy, lonely as fuck, and I am on edge most of the time. So please y'all tonight, just laugh at my jokes. Thank you. So, I have to tell you all this. I'm 39, about to be 40, and I am still shit scared of my mother. Anyone else in the late? Anyone else still shit scared of the fucking mother? I'm about to be 40. Anyway, she used one simple tool throughout my entire life that forced me to be an overachiever at everything I did. The tight slap. Now, I'm not talking about no wavy, loosey-goosey, white people spanking, okay? I'm talking about five fingers, tight, no gap, stiff as a board, angry, scary Indian mom, tight slap. This was my motivation for everything in my life. So the earliest memory that I have of being slapped, I must have been like seven years old, this is what I remember. I remember watching cartoons when suddenly the urge to discover myself down there <laughs> overtook me. I had what I now know to be the most, the most intense, amazing first orgasm. And it was, yeah, it was, it was good. It was so freaking good that I fell asleep with the cartoons blaring in the background and my hands still down there. And I was awakened by my mother who was eerily calm. And she didn't call me what she usually calls me, which is my nickname, Vachi. She said to me, Vachi, Inga va. Inga means, come here. But she wasn't alone. The tight slap was with her. So her and the tight slap took me into the bedroom, sat me down, and gave me a very stern talk. And the whole time she's talking to me, it's her and the tight slap. And she says to me, Vasavi, I need you to stop touching yourself and start studying. <laughs> From that day forward, cartoons were outlawed in my house. When all the other kids were watching Alvin and the Chipmunks, I was learning my multiplication tables. Now see what eight times seven is? 56. <laughs> I became a relentless overachiever. I didn't just get one master's, I got two. I didn't go to rehab once, no, I went twice, because I had to get it right. I didn't write one version of this comedy set, you know this story. I wrote 10 versions of this comedy set because I could not commit. I wasn't sure, so y'all better laugh at my shit because I'm also insecure. I excelled at being a cokehead. I memorized my debit card number because I refused to let a measly piece of plastic get in the way of me getting fucked up. <laughs> and that came in handy when I got arrested because I was able to bail myself out because I had my card memorized. <laughs> I would have rather brought it in jail than called my mother or anyone that you know, would have told her. And even my dad was suspect because my dad should scared of my mother too. <laughs> I'm even an overachiever to this day when I have the urge to discover myself. <laughs> See, most women, they like to take out their silk robes, they have their sex toys, they like candles, it's like this long, sexy process. Nope, not me, because I'm an overachiever. I fast forward to that one scene in that one video on Pornhub 
I flip over, I jackhammer the shit out of my hands. <laughs> Done in one, turn around and go to bed. That's all I got.